Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into Scorpio's monthly guidance message for July 2021. In this message, we're going to first tap into the energies here with the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, get an overview of what we're looking into. Then we are going to tap into the energies here a little bit deeper with the Psychic Tarot. Look into the energy surrounding you this month, Scorpio, the energy in love. We'll look into the energy in money, what's challenging you this month, what you need to focus on, and advice guidance moving forward. I'll clarify throughout as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Scorpio, what we can see for you guys for the month of July 2021. Something from your past may be returning. I also feel here, Scorpio, you're calling this in. All right, Scorpio, so let's tap a little bit deeper into these energies here. See what else we can see for you for the month of July, 2021. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not gonna resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. There's something in the title resonating. There's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits, personal readings, extended versions, it's all linked below in the description box. And Scorpio, if you like the vibe or how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Scorpio, the bottom of the deck, we have the sun energy, light, okay? I do feel like you are headed in a positive direction. There's a reason for this reconciliation, this coming back around of this person. Now, this could be a love interest for some of you, but this also could resonate as a friend or a family member. So try to be a little bit more open with how this reading is going to resonate, Scorpio. The energy surrounding you this month is foundation and achievements, four of wands energy. The energy in love is eight of pentacles, positive movement forward. Energy and money is emperor energy, authority. It's challenging you as a new beginning. Fool energy and what you're needing to work towards here. Empress, fertility in this deck and your advice guidance moving forward. Nine of swords energy, okay? There's definitely an energy of building a firm foundation, new beginnings putting your effort, your time into positive achievements, things that are going to last for long term. I also feel here, Scorpio, um, may it be a little bit of fear of moving forward or moving on rather. And maybe this situation is going to help you to bring closure to certain parts of your life that you maybe were holding on to a little too tightly. So let's clarify these energies here, Scorpio. Slow and steady wins the race. Energy surrounding you, clarifying this four of wands. We have the queen of cups, the fool. You could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. I feel like this is a person who you see as a very caring person also um feeling very connected okay um maybe even soul tie connection there is a little bit of being guarded being blocked out okay but with the time with the effort put in i feel here that this person would open up now understand that this is a very heavy energy that you're working with that you're working through this is very well a person that may be coming forward to apologize to you or you could be apologizing to them which could be opening up new opportunities between the two of you 
okay? I do feel here, Scorpio, you and this person are going to be able to work together in other ways besides romantically, okay? Business partnerships, um, making money together, things of that nature. Energy and money, emperor with the emperor and the five of pentacles, okay? Standing your ground, feeling very successful, feeling very fulfilled, okay? Releasing any tension, any energy that is no longer serving and moving forward in a positive direction. And I feel here there is going to be some sort of business venture, business opportunity that you're needing to pay attention to, to look out for. This may be something that shows up as very small, okay? Very minuscule, so you may look over, um, but needing to maybe take some time and analyze or think about the long term. Letting go of something in the past hasn't been easy for you, Scorpio, but I do feel here an energy of moving forward. I also feel an energy of clearing the confusion or making a decision based on practical logic instead of just emotions. The page of swords, there could be people watching your transition, um, could be, um, pay all eyes on Scorpio, but I feel here, Scorpio, that there is, um, just a need to focus within. Don't worry about all that, all the outside noise. It's time to kind of get that clear position on business ventures, career opportunities, making yourself feel, feel more stable, more secure moving forward. So your advice, guidance moving forward, Scorpio. I feel here there's an energy of like mm, changing perspective. This could be on a particular person in your life, or maybe this is just in relationships in general for some of you. But I feel here um, that's definitely going to benefit you moving forward just in general being empathetic being able to put yourself in other people's shoes put yourself in other people's shoes will help you to be able to change perspective and move forward through transitions a little bit more quickly in general one thing that's beneficial that I haven't really touched on in a long time in my videos that I'm being called to kind of speak on today. Getting clear on your vision, Scorpio, is important, okay? And anytime there's a transition or a change, there's a need to recalibrate, refocus. So taking some time to kind of gain, you know, regain that clarity or see if there's any changes or tweaks that you need to make in order to feel more stable or secure because with life, with things that change and everything does change, you know, it's the most constant thing in life. We're able to, when we're used to change, we're able to adapt easier. Also, when we're clear on our vision we're able to see things that are in alignment with that clear, more clearly. That's how you will know when something is put on your path for a specific reason and when you need to release specific things. There's these fears come up when we stop trusting ourselves and trusting our intuition. One thing I will always, always, always say, Scorpio, is everything happens for a reason, no matter what. I honestly wholeheartedly believe that even the bad situations in my life that I've ever been through, I've always been able to find good things that came from those situations, whether it was help being able to help other people in the same situations that I was in at those times, um, things like that, you know, just looking for the lessons. What can you learn from all of this, you know, is going to be important. So Scorpio, I know this is kind of a heavy reading, but to lighten things up a little bit, your soul journey message is the humor card. Okay. 
If you found this message has been helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. Also, Scorpio, I'm going to do an extended version of the reading as always. In the extended, we're going to take a look at where this is all headed. We'll tap into the hidden energies, see what comes out there. The resolution to the challenge and the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below. So, Scorpio, you have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. There are definitely parts of life that require your serious attention, but you have to learn to have fun. Don't neglect things that bring you jo joy or make you laugh. Besides the health benefit of your physical body, your emotional and mental bodies reap huge rewards from the art of joy. Seeking out the people who make you feel good about being alive Avoid cynicism and pessimism. Always look at your cup as being half full instead of half empty. The endless shatter of the physical dimension can seep into your conscious mind. So do your best to listen to happy music, read soul enriching fiction, and be wary of movies or TV shows that can darken your mood. Happy people attract happy people. Scorpio. There, I read an article there's an article out there um, that you might be able to find it's on how laughter reduces anxiety and stress by 25 to 30 percent and it can actually also have an effect if you incorporate one hour of laughter into your daily routine it can actually have an effect on your heart health so it's definitely important to incorporate laughter and humor into everyday activities one hour a day keeps the doctor away. Let's pull a four truths message. It's going to be be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using words that speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in direction of truth and love. Beautiful Scorpio, beautiful. So Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.